それがねメアリーひどいのようちの組織は本当に人遣いが荒くっても先日までローマにいたのだけれど突然呼び出されて木の実木のままで飛空艇に乗せられて今日にはもう英国だものそれもこれもあの男のせいなんだけれどねあなたもその口でしょ彼に巻き込まれると疲れてしまうわよはいいええっと What was she doing? What was she supposed to say here? The woman immodestly flecked down an expensive gurney. Mary was still surprised at her when they arrived at the Harrods in Hyde Park. She'd been taken to a place she hadn't been to in quite a while. The woman bought clothes and make up and sweets one after the other, not as excessively as Viola had done, but still enough to make her eyes spin. Mary told her several times that two people couldn't live in her room, that this many things couldn't fit in it, but she wouldn't listen. She said it was fine since all her larger belongings would go to Em's room. Yes, she replied with that smile. Mary even made up lies, like she couldn't sleep if she wasn't alone, while she had the habit of grinding her teeth at night, but she always passed it off with a smile. どことも頼む前にこんな情けない毛をされるだなんて。While gazing at Jane buying household supplies, one after the other, Mary thought. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be a b そんなに怯えなくてもいいのメアリー大家さんに内緒でキティの一匹くらい飼っていたって私別に気にしないわよ猫いいいえ猫ではないんですあそのそうなのジェイン said that and smiled at her again she really did she really did resemble someone 言いなりになってしまったのだった。She said most of her stuff went to M's suite, but they still arrived at the lodging house in a carriage stuffed full of belongings. They had arrived quickly, partly because the main street was empty, although it was almost too much weight for the horses. Mary had completely lost to the woman's forcefulness. How was she going to explain all these things in her room? Mary got out of the carriage, touched the horse's neck while apologizing, and somehow managed to hold in a sigh. She couldn't think of an excuse for Mrs. Hudson, a relative of Angie's. That might. No, Mrs. Hudson would just prepare a separate room. That was what she was like. Besides, Mary was too confused right now to come up with a good enough lie to fool Mrs. Hudson. お久しぶりミセス・ハドスンいつもメアリーがお世話になってしまってんあらあらあ,あなたはえっと嫌<笑>ですわお忘れになられてジェーンですクララの妹のジェーン昔ロンドン動物園へご一緒させてもらってあジェーンお久しぶりねその後元気にしてらしてえっと、どこか外国へ行っていたのよねえ<笑>おかげさまでお仕事でロンドンへ戻ってきたのですけどほらもう家はないでしょもしもあなたがよろしければメイの部屋にお邪魔させてもらおうと思っておかえりなさいジェーンあなたが戻ってきてくれてとても嬉しいわえー、でもメアリーの部屋に2人は難しいかも隣の部屋が空いているからそこへどうかお構いなくミセスハドスン少しの間だけだから大丈夫そうもしも不自由があったらおっしゃってくださいね顔を忘れるなんてどうかしていたわ大切な親友の妹さんは親友も同然なのに<笑>いいえ随分とお久しぶりですから
無理もありませんわ、はあ、見事に意気投合してしまって嘘そんなはずないどうしてこんな簡単に嘘を信じるのミセス・ハドソンマリーズ・オーンは normally lived overseas but would be staying in London for a while Jen said that it was clearly a lie. Mrs. Hudson must have known that Mary's mother had no sisters. So why? Mary was so confused she wondered if her mother really did have a sister. Would be interesting if she really turns out to be Mary's aunt. So, <laughs> 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 嘘を信じ込ませることは簡単なのよ。暗示明細のことはもう知っているわね。私の暗号名は魔女というの。暗示明細の服を作ったりはできないけれど、代わりに私は言葉を使える。言葉にそれと似たものを組み込んで、語ることすべてを信じ込ませただけ。多少の設定もスルリと彼女の頭の中へね。お、お、信じがたいこと。さらりとスルリと述べてみせる彼女信じるも何も私は呆然とそれを聞くしかなくて She did already know about the suggestion camouflage the dorm uniform that let Moran vanish into thin air She'd been taught it utilized、uh, mesmerism It was pretty different from the mesmerism Mary knew Extraordinary claims about controlling people's mind at will But Mary knew first hand that such things really did exist, just like she did this time. She was almost at a loss for words, but managed to ring out a voice. Quietly saying that was the best she could do, so she couldn't do anything about the words that came out of Jane's lips next. They caught her off guard. Without changing her smiling expression, Jane cheerfully said, The girl's form wasn't there when she opened the door, which meant she was hiding somewhere. There was also the possibility she went out the window, but she should have been waiting here alone for Mary to return. ねえ、小さい方の元気なキティちゃんあなたどこの子かしらレディージェン誰にも言わないって約束してくださいいいわよ思いがけないあっさりした返事表紙抜けしそうになるダメダメよメアリーここここからが本番なんだからこの子はエリーと言いますその孤児なんです今年に入ってからご両親を亡くしてそこのお宅とは私前から顔見知りでこの子は親戚に引き取られたのですけれどそこでそのひどい扱いを受けていたようなんですそれで私我慢できなくてその親戚にもミセス・ハドスにも内緒でこの子を引き取ったんです登園の別の引き取り手が来てくれるまでここでかくまうつもりでふん本当の話はい She should have been confused by the situation but she lied so easily she was surprised at herself Ellie looked surprised too though she went back to her annoyed face right away 嘘を言うこと私やっぱり慣れてるのね罪悪感も嫌悪感も感じていられないこの人が信用できるかどうか少なくともそれを確信しないと事情は話せない。While in London, she would take care of Mary. That was definitely what she'd said. 
Mary didn't know if she could ask M for help while this woman was here, though she still wasn't sure if she could ask him for help at all. Anyway, for now she was more useful than M. Mary was definitely aware of that. ねえ、エリー。今のメアリーの話は本当のことかしらうん、うん、そうよ。そう、事情は分かったわ。それならしばらくの間、私とも仲良くしてね。私はジェーン、メアリーのおばよ。ジェーンお姉さんって呼んで